Kupandikizwa kwa viungo vya mwili ni jambo ambalo kwa wengi huleta hofu, lakini kwa upande mwingine zoezi hilo limeokoa maelfu ikiwa sio mamilioni ya maisha. Katika harakati za kutaka kujua zaidi kuhusu upandikizi, tunakutana na Samuel Karoki ambaye leo alikuwa kiripoti katika hospitali ya Medihill ili kupokea dawa ambazo sasa ni mkondo wa maisha yake. Karoki anatueleza safari yake ya kuugua figo, matibabu na hatimaye kufeli na kupandikizwa. After my kidney failed, the, the, my kidney failed and I uh, had to do dialysis. So I was in dialysis and uh, I was advised that uh, to to get my life back into normal almost to normal i have to do a kidney transplant others i'll be on uh, dialysis for life ni baada ya ufunuo huo ambapo karoki alifahamu kwamba maisha yake sasa yalikuwa yamegeuka na kulazimika kuzoea mkondo mpya ambao uliwasili na changamoto si haba after your kidney fail what they call chronic kidney disease uh, they cannot come back they cannot work so you can't you can't urinate so you have to use a dialysis machine baada ya miezi sita ya pigo la kifedha na uzoefu wa kiwewe cha matibabu al maarufu dialysis hatimaye msaada uliwasili i was very lucky my sister accepted to donate a kidney to me and uh, we were very fortunate because it matched and so i underwent uh, kidney transplant surgery and it was successful miaka tisa baadaye tukio la ajabu lilitokea kiungo alichopokea karoki kikafeli jambo ambalo lilimvunja moyo hata hivyo dadake wa pili alijitokeza na kutoa figo yake ili kuokoa maisha ya kakake ila maamuzi hayo yalikuwa magumu doing a, kid, a second kidney transplant is not easy because chances of it failing are quite high according to doctors because uh, already your body has rejected one kidney so it might also reject another one from especially from a relative kwa bahati nzuri karoki aliibuka kutoka chumba cha operesheni akiwa mshindi kwa mara ya pili the doctors accepted to do it and it was done at med hill in uh, last year which is 2019 november and it was successful it was quite a process because the doctor said that uh, to protect the new kidney they had to remove the the old kidney which is also another surgery by itself Daktari Murthy ambaye ni mtaalamu wa masuala ya figo katika hospitali ya Medihill anawahimiza wananchi kukumbatia matibabu katika taifa letu kwa ni tayari tuna vituo vya kutosha na wataalamu walio na uwezo wa kufanya zoezi la upasuaji na upandikizi wa viungo Transplant is less than 2 million in any any of the big center our hospital is only 1.6 So and the first year uh, medication expense we, you will get at another uh, four five hundred. So with 2 million one year you have already pulled through. Daktari Murthy anasema kuwa uvunaji wa viungo vya mwili kutoka kwa wafu huenda ukawa ni suluhisho bora dhidi ya uhaba wa viungo hivyo kwani huokoa maisha wagonjwa wengi. The idea that instead of destroying an already perishing body let it be useful to somebody who is requiring it. The simple rule of life we even we are useful after death during life anyway whether you help somebody or don't help somebody is a different story but even after your death you can be of use ben kirira k24 samoja